All right, guys, I am super excited. Um, in this video, it's almost like a, it's a split video, right? Because I um, actually um, videotaped my students using an ADL form, uh, digital ADL form that I created using JotForm. Yes, JotForm. Oh my gosh, this is my first time using it and I love it. But I recorded them because I wanted you all to see, um, you know, how interactive they were with each other um, and figuring out the coding, you know, discussing, talking uh, to, you know, each other as a team. Um, and then also how engaged they were as well. So they stayed like this during the entire class period, right? So if you're having some issues with student engagement, you want to, um, you know, create some interactive activities with your lectures, right? Because y'all know some of the lectures we give are boring, right? If that is all we did was just lecture the students, right? So you want to try to break it up and add in an interactive activity. So we're actually in the communication module and um you know we finished up with how to communicate with residents patients and clients and now we're talking about you know how do you communicate with the healthcare team and we're getting into the documentation portion of that so they actually uh completed an incident and accident report form uh, yesterday today uh, they completed their adl flow sheet and i just want to share that video with you i hope you all enjoy it Are y'all understanding? Yes, ma'am. Okay. okay. Thank you, Tushan. I got you, ma'am. Uh, yeah. She is also hard of hearing and requires an adaptive upper portion of the communication. So, bed mobility, it would also be a like this? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's three. And that's yeah, because yeah, it's a two person assist because it says you and your co worker assist. Yeah. And then for transfer, it's going to be. Bed mobility. Two person assist. Oh, yeah. And then transfer. <laughs> Extensive assistance care before taking her to the dining hall for the dinner meal. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Totally dependent. She wasn't able to help at all. I put two person assistant because she said she called over on a fellow CNA to assist her. And says you and your co worker transfer, so they both transfer her. I put two and then three. Okay, while eating, would you definitely have to Yes, I'm recording everyone. Oh, did you the transfer? So 
Okay, so two person, but it's not going to be limited. What did they have to use? A wheelchair? No. Look, they used the Hoyer lift, right? Oh. So that's going to be, um, I would actually put total because even though the Hoyer lift is extensive, that person wasn't able to like help in any way, right? Mm -hmm. So there you go, totally dependent. Okay. So forth. Yeah. So forth. Okay. Thank you, Ms. James. You're welcome. <laughs> What do we put if there was no breakfast or lunch? So it's four and three. Four and three. 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 No, it's two person assists. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you and your Y'all don't like being on the camera? I know y'all. I bet you y'all be getting on TikTok and IG, right? Don't forget to add me. Oh my goodness. I'm going to get a close up of you. All right, that's fine. Okay, transfer. Is this going on YouTube? No, it's going on her Instagram. Um, I don't know. YouTube, IG. All right, so my Instagram is Audrey underscore Garcia, two A's, and then my Huh? Nobody does IG? No. Oh. Yes, I do. I do too. I do too. Oh, you then shut up. Yeah. You do Twitter? <laughs> you do Twitter? You do Twitter? IG? Let me know who calls it IG. I do. Instagram? I call it IG. I don't know who you are. That was like 50 years ago. Well, that's good because I'm 57. So that's good. Now. I'm just going to use it. Okay, you and a co worker. Thank you, co for helping me. Then transported Mr. to her wheelchair. Dining comfort. Do you know what a Hoyer lift is? Is it that? Yeah. You need two people for that. Uh huh. I got Jonathan in the house. I got you, Jonathan. I'm just going to get this. Okay. I got to show what y'all are using to work with. Okay, Miss Jefferson. Huh? She already got me. She got me. She's totally. Let me get a cup. I got a close up. I'm reading. Read out loud so your teammates can hear you. You and your coworker transferred Mrs. Jeffries from her wheelchair to her bed with the use of a Hoyer lift. You and your coworker undressed Mrs. Jeffries and began to provide her with a bed bag. You and your coworker assisted Mrs. Jeffries with bed mobility by turning her to wash, rinse, and dry her backside. Mrs. Jeffries completed her bed bag by dressing her. One person, you know, in comic care. She, she, uh, she had a difficult time eating, so she wasn't totally dependent. Open hands. So that's um, limited assist. It's open hands. Yeah, we didn't hold your hands. We kind of just yeah, like it, right? hands. No way. To help her bring the so we did use a lot of unique shit. We to force for Miss Jeffries from her bed to her wheelchair using a boy in the You thanked her co-worker for helping you and transporting Miss Jeffries by propelling her wheelchair to the dining hall for dinner. Miss Jeffries was yeah, the, the, having difficulty feeding herself at dinner. No, I made it up. The scenario sheets y'all can write on, those are yours. Okay, so you can write, highlight, whatever you want to do. Miss Jeffries was served the following meal. Chicken, mashed potatoes with gravy, green beans, a dinner roll, a slice of white cake. She ate all of her mashed potatoes with gravy. Oh, yeah, 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 with gravy and all of her cake. 
After dinner, he transported Miss Jeffries to her room, where she allowed her to sit in a wheelchair for 30 minutes while he gathered supplies and prepared her bed to give her a bath. a bed bath, he called on a fellow CNA to assist you. You need to work your undress Miss Jeffries and begin to provide her with a bed bath. Yeah. Um, okay, it's right here. Oh, yeah. That's not it. This is due today in class. <laughs> yes. What's tomorrow at 3 p.m.? No. I'm telling you right now, it is due today. Y'all are doing it right now. You got plenty of time. You don't get out for another, what, 40 minutes? It's due today. Right, you're correct. You're correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go. Mm -hmm. Now, for the meals... You're only documenting on the dinner meal, right? So the breakfast, you leave blank. Exactly. Did y'all hear that? I need to hear it. Between totally dependent and one person. It's just like one person. So for this one, we can so self-performance and support and like various things. So self-performance is if they can do it on their own. So four would is totally dependent, which means she can't do it. Adult briefs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So for that one, you're actually gonna choose um four to be let's see. So hundred? Mm, I don't think so. What does she eat? Oh yeah, she didn't hear chicken. Or her green beans, yeah. So then, or her, or her roll. So 25. Oh, yeah, that's right. So she didn't eat chicken. Yeah. And then oil it in. What was it? So mm -hmm. Oh, so you it's got just it. one person. Yeah. We go. Good job. Okay. So, for toileting. Y'all doing good? Mm -hmm. Okay. What are y'all gonna What are y'all gonna code for ambulation? So just put your like. What are y'all gonna code for ambulation? Huh? Did not occur, right? Number eight did not occur. Okay, so what would you code it? Require staff assistant of one for the eating. Right? Okay, and then what would you go up again? Go up? Okay, okay, that's it. Require one. Okay. You doing okay, dear? Yeah. I was looking at the this one. Mm -hmm. And what it mean? It's saying it's only forty percent of food for like to have it. So what did y'all think? What did y'all think? Did you see? that engagement did you see the communication between the team members right um it was awesome guys and yeah take a look i i did some uh close-ups of the actual digital form that i created for um you know them to document on adls they also um documented on paper too because i let them know hey you know um, there are going to be times where, 
um, you have to document on paper, um, you know, whether there's like a power outage or anything like that. I'm going to turn my camera around. So I actually have the paper um, ADL flow sheet as well. Um, so they document it on paper first. And then I had them to doc, excuse me, to document electronically on the jot form uh, that I created. It's an ADL jot form um, and well, ADL jot form, an ADL flow sheet uh, that I created on jot form. Um, so they can get the, you know, best of both worlds, you know, so they can understand that, hey, sometimes, you know, we may not be able to chart document or record electronically for whatever reason uh, then we have to turn to the paper documentation and again there are still facilities long-term care facilities that use paper documentation i did the same for the um, ina report form i had them completed on paper first and then complete it electronically so i hope you all enjoyed this video leave comments and questions ciao